Welcome to King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord he has made. I will and you should rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome again to another edition of King David Ministries with your host and pastor, Pastor Eddie L. Royal Sr. from the pastor of and from King David Ministries. And we thank and praise God for you and hopefully as we do whatever we do, live streams, Instagram, whatever, that my purpose, one of my purposes is to as I learn and get it in me, knowing that it works, get it to you. The Word of God plainly tells us, amen, that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Now, before I get into the lesson, that I would like to say that's a process. I, I you know, I taught on the other night about process. See, <laughs> faith comes by hearing, but it's a process. See, with this word of God, you can hear it, but if it doesn't download, and the devil knows that. See, you got to realize, see, we have an adversary, whether you know it or not. And from the time that Adam disobeyed, and the first thing that happened, Think about what this word says. See, Adam was created just like God. He said, let us make man in our likeness and in our image and let them have dominion. Now, that 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 dominion, I was, I was studying that and looking at that. That's and I found out, should have known, but I found out that Jesus spoke Hebrew. Okay? So, when we talk about, we've been talking about kingdom as well. This is in the book, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is, I think it's pronounced Malachic. Malachic. Anyway, it's Hebrew, and it means dominion. Or kings and, a king's rulership over a territory because you can't be a king unless you have territory to rule. You talk about I'm a king, but okay, wait. I, I, I remember what an individual said to me the other day. He had a crown and king under it. And I I said, what's going on, king? I ain't no king. Well, it says king that. He said, if I'm a king, then where's my kingdom? He understood that. Kingdom and kings must be rulers over a territory. That is actually the born again believer. That's why I keep harboring on that's in the word of God. Kingdom. Now, as I said before, I, I watched the coronation. And I, I loved it. I, I, I could see how they live just like royalty. Royal means king, okay? So, like, that's not really their names, okay? Even in the movie, I think it was the name of uh, the movie called The Crown. When her mother died, I mean, I mean, it was not her mother, but the father died, and she immediately became the queen. And they asked her, well, what name? See, they, they change names, especially when it comes to the monarchy. Okay? When it comes to the monarchy, they change your name. So she said, well, my, my mother's name is Elizabeth, so I will keep Elizabeth. So when she became Elizabeth II. But it is the monarchy. It, they are royalty. Does not the word of God say that we are kings and priests, a royal priesthood and a holy nation? Yet, do we act like it? Find out. I, I'm a little off, but listen. 
Because this is something that we need to listen and they need to find out where, 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 where that we've been off. That word talks about, I think it's uh, ambassadors. Let me get the scripture. I, I, had, I had it here. We are our ambassadors for Christ. We are ambassadors for Christ. And that is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20. Again, as Daddy Chandler said, I didn't write this. Read it for yourself. Okay? Now watch this. and we're gonna get, I, I, This ain't what I was starting with, but I always pray and ask the Holy Spirit, what do you want to say? Because I'm the vessel. So for it, in this ministry and in this part of the vineyard, but I have the body in which for them to speak. Uh oh. So you have to give them authority in order to do that. Uh oh. Because you have a body. Well, God can do it. Yeah, he can. But he has limited to his word. And he also talks about that he's given you dominion. But you got to get him permission in order to use you. He does not break in on you. I heard a preacher say one time, God arrested me. No, you didn't. Just like when I got off the drug. All I, I had to make up my mind. God was on his throne while I was still crawling on the floor, still in church, still praying for churches, and, and, and crawling on for smoking crack, not even going no. He never fell off his throne. He loved me. But until Eddie made up his mind, listen, you need to learn that. Okay? You have the authority. That's why he said, they said, draw nigh to me. You have to do something first. First the natural, then the spiritual. You have to do something. We're always waiting on God to do something. No. And the devil knows all that. See, when we had our meeting, I mean, not a meeting, our um, teaching on Satan, that used to be Lucifer, look at Ezekiel 28. See, he don't want you to know about him. Uh, we always talk about the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. But you do you know what up with him? He is an adversary, okay? He is a anointed cherub that covers, but the, according to my study, so far there was only three. There was Gabriel, Michael, the archangel of war, Gabriel, the messenger, and Lucifer. Lucifer was right there at, at God. He was God's angel. He was the prettiest when he was created. When he was created, Jesus was not created. I mean, the... The Lord was not created, okay? Jesus was born. But Jesus wasn't created, wasn't created, okay? He's from everlasting to everlasting. However, the devil knows he was right there. Read Ezekiel 28. Hmm? He even had what they call uh, sanctuaries. In other words, angels under him. So according to the study, the angels didn't have a free will except those three which were cherubs. That's why on the mercy seat, those are cherubs. That's, and actually, it's just covering. They look down at the blood. So it protects us from God. And then God, the presence of God can move in. Okay? So, so the bottom line, all this is in the word of God. And we need to know that. Okay? So, the bottom line, when he he was um, uh, had a, his, his mind of his own, he said, I will exalt my throne above the Most High God. I will be like God. That's where that narcissism thing come in at. Uh-oh. I'm all that and a bowl of chips. Where do you think that spirit come from? God ain't never talked like that. Where you think that came from? Read Ezekiel 28. It's also in Isaiah, but read it in Ezekiel 28. That's where that narcissism came in, and they said war broke out in heaven. But Jesus didn't even know. He said, I just watched. He said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. But he, he didn't fall down here. He fall, fell in the heavenlies because he doesn't have a body. That's why he tried to get yours or mine. He ain't getting mine because I'm full of something, but he can get this. And he did. 
So this is information that we need to know. He fell in the heavens. Okay? But then when, when Adam disobeyed, because he's built like God. Okay? He didn't know anything about fear, death, dying, unbelief, none of that. Because it was a territory. Okay? So when he when, so when he gave it to Satan. That's when we talk about this kingdom thing. If you look at Luke 4, it's, it said, Satan came to Jesus and tempted him. You can't be tempted unless you can yield to it. And the word said Jesus was totally tempted. He would do everything we did. Huh? He learned about the things that he suffered. Oh, that was Jesus. That's what, and the devil turned us up. Been tearing us up for you. Undercover stuff that we should have been knowing. That's real. And and, and it's gotta be preached. You ain't you 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 ain't praying with me. It's got to be preached. So 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 that that uh 28 chapter of Ezekiel tell it tells you about us. But see, he would he has that power. Still got it because they had a mind of his own. Now Michael and Gabriel would say, "I ain't. We ain't going for this one. No, we ain't going for that. Uh, uh." So Michael is the warrior. That's probably what's happening. Michael just said, "No, uh, uh." Lucifer made his mind. That's why he's doomed forever and took the sanctuaries, the third of heaven, with him. It's in there all the time, but he tries to get this. Now that's why he said, "The earth is the Lord's." He can't. This ain't never going nowhere. Okay, just going back to his demi state, a new heaven and a new earth. He's just going back to where he was when he created. Huh? But the earth is the Lord. But what he said, I ain't running it. That's why when Adam sinned, he had to pull out what? The kingdom is a government. That's why unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government. The government. Now, what does that mean? You get, see when you preach something, you gotta explain something too before you get to your who, f you who. What is the government? Don't get to the shouting part. I need to know what that is. He said, "It's like a servant. I'm bringing what? I'm bringing back a government." He didn't get back ownership. He already got that his rulership, and that was is is, is conveyed on us. Huh? Because it means dominion. Kingdom means dominion. Let them have what? Dominion. Are we getting it? No. But over years. Over years. There's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. Two world, two, two kingdoms, one world. It's a king. And that's why he told Jesus. All this is thought. That's why that word says, it says, the kingdom of God is not in word. Read it for yourself. But in and that's what he saw. And that's what folks that want to get power, position, and brings money. That even seeps into the church. Sorry, but if you look at that, that scripture that says that you are to shepherd the flock of God, not as lords over them and trust it to you. And Lord means owner. So I think we, before we do that, Oh, you're not their Lord. I'm not their Lord. You can't you can't do that. And if you get their mind and you think you got their minds, you need to drop this now. Okay? Because you're not a Lord over anybody. You're the pastor or whoever you are. Okay? And I ain't going that far. Okay? Don't don't dispute me. Why not? If I if I don't agree with it, I don't understand it. I'm gonna ask you. Okay? Not as Lord over those entrusted to you and when the chief shepherd shall appear. Now, that's it. That's all. Okay? So, read Ezekiel 28. And then those scriptures that I said, we are kings and priests. The, the, the coronation, what have happened? I mean, 
And I'm going to say this and, 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 and get this one little part that I want to get to. Okay. The earth and two worlds. Which means, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, among them, the God of this world, Satan, has blinded the minds of the unbelieving to prevent them from seeing the illuminating light of the gospel of the glory of God, who is the image of God. Now, that's one world. Okay? Right here. It's, I mean, it's the earth, but it's the world. Now, here's, you can just look at Colossians 1.13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. There it is right there. Ignorance. Darkness. He doesn't move. That's his, one of his biggest hold on mankind. Ignorance. And the church. It's there. But if you don't preach it, because you're riding the preacher's back, sure it's quiet. Amen. You're supposed to read that for yourself. Well, I tell them to read it. Okay, then fine. But most of the time, no. I'm Make me feel good. I'm going to pass. No, but it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like that. No, we got to learn about this kingdom. It is a kingdom. It is a command. Okay? It is the kingdom and it is a command. That's it. That's all. Now, the second one is Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness, darkness, and conveyed us to the kingdom of the Son of His love. That's what earth, two worlds. But one is darkness. One is like your interest of your word brings light. Okay. I'll rest my case. Now you you can we can go from there. But I, I as I say for and I, I keep pushing it. I haven't heard one sermon in the circles I've been on about the kingdom. And it's here all it's been here all the time. It's been here. Well, I I well, no, well, well what did the boss say? What did the boss say? And he said one thing, for this, I must preach the kingdom, for this purpose, I came. It's there. So now what? I know young whippersnapper, no, no, well, I ain't young, but whippersnapper like you, you won't tell, I ain't telling you anything. I'm telling you what that word, word said, now do it. Or if you don't do it, it will be done. That's the only thing I'm telling you. That word says, as you go, Preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, I've been pastoring for 50 years or whatever. It doesn't matter. Change. That's what it say. They need to know. We all need to know it. Because I ain't never heard it until I been started studying it. That it was in there all the time. But I still need to read it for myself. Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the chapter 1 verse 1. Blessed is the man who walks in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the law, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season, whose, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does will prosper. Father, we thank you for the word, the anointing that is on the way. We give you praise and thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, for the few remaining minutes that we have, that, uh, there's a scripture that we, well, I, I, we've heard it. But think about this. Got 12 minutes, not 11 minutes. Okay? And that would be, Matthew, I think we went over it, but, but you know, faith come by hearing. Present tense continue. Add in for that. Because it's got to be a process. Because it's got to get in. You can hear it, but it's got to get in us. So we can believe what this word say. And the devil knows that. And in the meantime, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12, don't think it's strange. Because so, he said, when the word is sown in their heart, Mark 4, Satan, Satan, not the demons, but Satan comes immediately. Why? Because of this word. So you got to be prepared. I, mean, I don't want you blindsided. You I ain't say catch it, but it's coming. But you got to get it in you, and it's a process. You just can't feel good and walk out the church or wherever you at and can't, and don't never get it in you. Now, you've been there for 60 years, but nothing never st stuck because really you didn't know this. Because as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. That's a download. Have you ever noticed when you're trying to learn something or study for something or, or learn a trade, you have to keep at it and at it and at it and at it till you learn. But actually what you're doing is, is, is downloading in your subconscious. That's what it's doing. The devil knows all that. But it's right there with God.
We and he has inside information, but we got it too. But through God, that's why he does not volunteer information. We have to seek it. Now I'm gonna give you right here, Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-five. Therefore I say to you, do not worry. See again, we're talking about worry too, because you can't have you can't worry and and have faith, and that's a process. Cause see your mind talking about worry will will fight it like this right here. You gonna doubt it, fight it, cause you're so used to the natural. And so the devil said, you ain't no problem, okay? But now you get this, but you got to get it in you. You just can't read it. You got to get it in you, okay? And the devil will through sink. He'll get in some, uh, get at somebody, you know what I mean? Start start something, whether it's their money, try to dry that up. You, you, you the word says, when, when, when tribulation... And persecution arise what? For the word's sake. I'm talking about folks you know. I'm talking about church folk too. Mm -hmm. And they try to justify that. You can't justify that. Period. But they don't know they being you. They getting at you. So when you see it. I saw it this week. I wanted to. And then sometimes they want to bring fear on you. Okay you do that. But they don't know they being you. And you. But you need to know how to catch it. And don't react to it. Get in that word. Okay? Now, therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not, is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather in the bar, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more more value than they so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow they neither toil nor spin and yet i say to you that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these now if god so clothed the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you or you of little faith therefore do not worry saying what shall you eat or what shall you drink or what shall you wear for all these things the gentiles see for your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things verse 33 here is the priority but seek first what first thing first but seek first what the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Let's go back in the, in the few minutes that I have left. He said, first of all, do not worry. Do not worry about your life. Now, what is life? Now, life meaning by clothes, food, paying bills, this. Jesus said, Life has got to be more than just that. That's what it says here. He said, don't worry about the food, about the drink. But the issue is we don't believe it yet. Now I'm getting it, but now it's a process. You got to keep fighting because it belongs, this word belongs to us. If you've been born again, okay? He said, why are you, why are you being concerned about that? Now, if your heavenly father feeds the birds, then aren't you much valuable than they, there, them, huh? If he feeds them, but we lack it. I'm talking about church folk, lack it, okay? He feeding them, so some, 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 some ain't right. Like I said, I heard someone that the late doctor, um, when, I, I know him say, some in the milk ain't clean. Hmm. He says, if he feeds them, what, what? Why not you? Can you add one cubit to your life? Okay. So then he says here, then the lilies they neither toil nor nor spin. Then he goes back to verse three. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which tomorrow is is thrown into it, will he much not clothe you or you a little faith? Therefore, do not worry. 
about what you need. In other words, what it appears to me, what it is, is the fact that he said, get your mind off the of things and do what? Verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these what things? Harry, Megan, William, the rest of them, they're part of you actually think they got their own issue, but do you think they actually worry about food, clothes, and everything? No, they're royalty. And a kingdom. They're a theocracy. You don't think about that. But what? They got it. Okay? All the time. So what about us? Okay? This word here, and we're supposed to come as little children, and I and I talked on that, but, but it says here, this is the main one, but see first what? The kingdom of God and his righteousness, right standing, and all these things. So therefore, what he, he is telling us, brothers and sisters, get your mind off the thing. Well, I'm in a financial bound. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm dealing with a condition. Yes. However, that's in the kingdom, but you got to. What is, oh, thank you, Lord. He says, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. And the violent take by force. You got to press your way in. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open. You got to put God knock. You got to press your way in. In the meantime, don't think it's strange. Okay? But you got to, this is something that's been there all the time. We should have read it for ourselves. And that's what he said. Forget the thing. Now that's going to be an issue. Because why you saying forget the thing. Now here comes hell. Because now you, but you're obeying that word. Now. But you just you got to keep pressing. As we, you remember what I said? We do this thing together. He said if you seek me first. The kingdom and his righteousness. The kingdom is here. You the kingdom, the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. And our Father, which is also a king, and the king of glory shall come, come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of Almighty, the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Now, but he's also our daddy. But do we think of it like that? And then, that's what Jesus said in, in Matthew 3. Repent. That means to change your mind. Do we have a kingdom mentality? That takes time and a process. It's not overnight about getting about being kingdom citizens and all this is is this process. And the devil now he come, cause he had us bam well not us, but he knows he can ride under ignorance. And now you can find out because he had that grip on us. Now he's gonna try to do everything he can because he knows about kingdom. Hmm? We're kingdoms and we are royal priesthood, a holy nation. That's what we are. But we got to get there. It's a process. And he just said, seek first the kingdom. That's a command. But what are we going to do? And that means preach it. As you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now preach is what you're going to do. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Edifying the body of Christ for the working of the ministry. Now what you're going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it that sake and grow Amen. Because you didn't realize, now we had, you got to answer for this. You, if we're in a position, if it's just for money, you have to answer for that. I hope you really, I hope you know that. Okay? Well, praise God. Amen. I hope this has helped you. It's helped me. And I'm going to keep putting it in. Faith come by hearing. And hearing by the word. Keep going. When you've done all to stand, stand. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Be at the Sonesta Hotel, 5985 Century Boulevard. That is in the city of Los Angeles. We will again be in the Columbart Room. The Columbart Room. The Columbart Room. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, be there. You know, and uh, we're going to teach. So, the channel will be preaching. Be, be ministering. I'll be ministering. Amen. So, we'll be there. We're going to keep putting this word out. As being commanded by the Lord. Amen. And we all grow and do this thing together. We love you.
God bless you. We will see you on tomorrow at 3 o'clock. I hope this has been a blessing to you. You are kingdom citizen. You're not just Christian. You are kingdom citizen if you made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Okay, we'll see you on tomorrow. Bye-bye. Eddie Royal Sr. The ministry can be heard every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on KTYMGospel.net.